This is the Brandon room of the genealogy department. Gonna start over here. We have Bullet County resources here. So you have your genealogical records, cemetery records, and then church records and histories. Have our OPAC system where you can research and see what books we have. Our obituary collection is fairly extensive. It goes from the mid-70s to present, and most of the older records can be found in the digital newspapers. There's Mr. Brannon, who the room is named after. We have our Georgia census records, and of course, Bullitt County at the top left. We have the county census and Georgia indexes. We do still have our card catalog as well various books on how to get started in genealogy and references. Then we have our family history books, which span this side and the opposite side of the shelves. So these are all family histories. Then we go to Georgia, where we have a modified Dewey system. Here we have records for Georgia, and then they're divided up by the counties. We do this for four different states. So we have Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and Virginia. So as you can see, we have these all color-coded for you to make them easier to find. And then we have our journals and periodicals. These are often gonna be referenced in the card catalog. We have our family files. In these, we have well over 200 surnames. So you can see here all the various folders, how many of them are often the same. And these are all comprised of Bullock County families. We have Georgia Counties, Common School Fund for Bullock County, map files, and you'll notice our Bullock County map that many use for reference. And then we come into the memorial room. This is where you're going to find history sources. These begin with the wars, colonial time, revolutionary war, war of 1812, civil war, and then we go into histories for the various states. Again, Virginia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and Georgia. Over here I have created the county histories for Georgia. So each of these are in order for the various counties. And then around the corner we have our microfilm room. We have a digital microfilm makes copying pages and sending them to yourself much easier. We have two large computers that you can use for Ancestry Library, Heritage Quest, and other genealogy websites. These are our microfilm collections. So we mostly have newspapers for patrons to view, court records for Bullock County, and then we also have census and military records as well.